Okay, good day. So let's have another example for the uh, design and analysis of uh, tension uh, members. So let's have this example, additional example. Okay, the A572 grade 50 tension member shown is connected with three fourth inch bolts. So determine the LRFD and the ASD block shear rupture strength of the uh, member. So this is our uh, members. We have three bolts. Okay, the member is an angle, okay, 152 by 102 by 12.7. Uh, so we have okay, the spacing of uh, the bolts are given, but actually they are uh, initially in uh, inches. I just uh, converted them a while ago. So this is, uh, I think, uh, 2 inches. Okay, so this is uh, 2 inches. This one is uh, 4 inches. Uh, the same with this one, a okay, four inches. So I just con uh, converted them to uh, millimeters since again in the Philippines we are using uh, more on a metric. Uh, the same with this one, this is I think uh, 3.5 inches, and this one is uh, 2.5 inches. I just converted okay, the distances or the spacings in uh, millimeters. So, what are the properties of A572 grade 50? Uh, steel so from our applicable ASTM specifications so it's just my copy is not that clear so A572 so for FY uh, grade 50 FY is 50 mega uh, KSI and uh, so FU is 65 KSI or the kips per square inch so let us uh, write down the properties of that steel So we have okay, the value of uh, Fy is equal to uh, 50 megapascals, uh, 50 KSI. So we are just to convert this one to okay, megapascals. So again, 1 uh, KSI is equal to uh, 6.895 MPa. Okay, so we are just to uh, multiply. So that is uh, 50 multiplied by uh, 6.895. And that is equal to okay, 344.75 uh, megapascals. Or we round this to the nearest whole number. That is, let's say, 345 megapascals. Then for the, uh, the value of Fu, that is equal to uh, 65 KSI. So multiplying this one to uh, 65 multiplied by 6.895. It's 448.175. The nearest whole number is 448 okay, mega pascals. So these are the okay, properties of the A572 grade 50 steel. So for the okay, for the bolts, so we have 3 fourth inch bolt. So we are just to uh, convert that, that one to okay, millimeters. So the diameter of the uh, bolt is equal to okay, this is three fourths I okay, multiplied by okay, uh, 25.4 millimeters so one inch is uh, 25.4 right, so we're having the uh, diameter of uh, the bolt in uh, mm diameter of the bolt in uh, millimeter is equal to Right, it is uh, 0.75, 3 fourths times uh, 25.4. That is 19.05. Uh, let's say the, the nearest whole number is uh, 19 millimeters. Then for uh, the nominal diameter of the hole, uh, we are to add I uh, to mm. So this is 19 plus uh, 2 millimeters. But in actual, in English, this is only one, uh, one over. All right, this is uh, actually one over sixteen of an inch, which is equal to one point uh, six millimeters, or approximately equal to one point six mm. But for easier uh, computation, I uh, we round that to uh, the nearest whole number, I uh, two mm. So we having uh, this is equal to twenty one millimeters. But for the uh, net diameter of the hole uh, based on NSCP this is 21 millimeters we are again to add I2MM so again this provision is by our 
NSCP. So we'll be, ha uh, we'll be having or we are to use uh, the net diameter of the hole to be uh, 23 millimeters. Okay, so this will uh, this value will be used for our computation. So we are required to I uh, determine uh, the the LRFD and the ASD block shear uh, for rupture uh, strength. So from our uh, references, we have the nominal strength that is the RN for a uh, block shear is equal to 0.60 of uh, okay, FU and B. Plus UBS, FUANT, but should be less than or greater, uh, less than or equal to uh, the 0.6 of AY, uh, FY, uh, A sub uh, GB plus UBS, FUANT. Then for our factors, so ASD, that is 2.0 for the factor of safety. Reduction factor for LRFD is 0 0.75. So let us have this uh, values. So, if you are to observe, what will be the uh, failure block for this one? So, as, as you can see, this is only uh, 63.5 millimeters. So, our failure plane for shear with, will be uh, this one. Uh, so, this will uh, give our area for uh, shear. So, let's say for the area gross for shear, a sub GB. Okay, so by the way, what is the total length? So that is, okay, if you are to add this uh, distances or this is spacing, okay, that is uh, we have 50.8 plus okay, 101.6 multiplied by uh, 2. So that is equal to 254 millimeters. So what will be the area of this uh, A sub GB? And that is the gross area for shear. So let's say this, this is the uh, gross area for shear is equal to, uh, that is the length, 254 millimeters. Multiplied by, what is the thickness of our angle? So the thickness of the angle is 12.7 millimeters. So that is, it's a length, uh, 254 multiplied by the thickness of the angle, this is 12.7 millimeters. So the area gross for shear will be equal to, Okay, 254 multiplied by 12.7. Uh, 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 that is equal to 3,225.8. So 3,225.8 square millimeters. Okay, so we also need the area net for shear. So basically this is uh, the area gross for shear minus the, okay, the, the areas of the hole. Okay, within this, I have line of uh, bolts for the uh, area gross for uh, shear. But if you are to observe uh, closely, okay, we are to intersect uh, two, sir, uh, two holes. So that is okay, from this edge, so one, then two holes. As you can see, if you are to count, so this is one hole, then the second. But if you are to uh, consider that the failure... Uh, or the rupture path for the tension will be, uh, let's say, uh, this one. We are only to consider one half of the third hole or of, of the last hole. So we are just considering, uh, basically, again, if you are to count, this is one, two, and a half. Okay? So that is the same as okay, 2.5. Okay? 2.5 area of the hole. So this is to be multiplied by okay, 2.5. So we have the area net for shear is now equal to area gross, 3,225.8 minus okay, the area of the hole. Okay, what is our required diameter for the hole? That is the net. That is 23 mm. Then the thickness of this angle is 12.7. So we have again, okay, the net diameter of uh, the hole. Okay, this is for the uh, net diameter is equal to 23 uh, millimeters and the thickness of the plate is 12.7 millimeters so that is why okay, we have we are considering two and a half so that is 2.5 multiplied by 23 i okay, multiplied by the thickness of the angle 12.7 so we having the net area for shear is now equal to 
Okay, 3,225 minus, okay, 2 and a half holes. That is, okay, 23 multiplied by uh, 12.7. As we have that as 2,495.55, 2,495.55 square millimeter. So that will be okay, our net area. So we have the okay, gross area for shear and the net area for uh, shear. So we also need the uh, net area for uh, tension. So let us transfer this equation on the other side. Okay, so we have now ID uh, net area for shear and the gross area for uh, shear. So let's have the net area for uh, tension. So if this line, so the red one, will be uh, the area for shear, okay, well, this uh, green one, uh, this green path as the line of rupture will be for, okay, for tension. So what is that area? So it has a width of 63.5 millimeters. But if we are to uh, look closely, uh, we are just to consider half of the diameter of the hole. So that will be uh, the gross area for tension. So it has a width of 63.5. Uh, this is for the uh, net area for tension. It has a width of uh, 63.5 or in inches, that is 2.5 inches. 63.5 multiplied by the thickness of the plate, that is 12.7. I minus, again, we are just considering half of the whole, that is one half of its area. So that's one half of 23 uh, millimeters, that is the diameter, net diameter of the whole, multiplied by the uh, thickness of the whole, that is uh, 12.7. So a little uh, correction here, so it should be uh, 12.7, not 12.5. So we're having uh, the net area for tension is now equal to uh, this is 63.5 uh, multiplied by 12.7 then minus uh, half of the whole, half area. That's 0.5 uh, multiplied by 23 then multiplied by 12.7. Uh, so we're having a net area for tension as uh, 660 .4 square millimeters. Okay, so we have now okay, the needed uh, values for the con computation of the net capacity or the nominal capacity or the nominal strength for block shear. So let us uh, now substitute. So for our, uh, for the uh, nominal strength, that is the R sub n, this is equal to okay, 0 0.60 of Fu then multiplied by the net area for shear plus okay, the UBS, I okay, multiplied by FU, then multiplied by A and uh, T, or the, the uh, net area for uh, tension, but should be less than uh, 0 0.60 of the FY. This is for the area gross for shear plus okay, the UBS, okay, FU, multiplied by the net area for uh, tension, or multiplied by the net area for uh, tension. I, for the value of the UBS, so U sub BS is the tensile rupture strength reduction factor again. So this is 1.0 when the tensile stress is uniform. In, so such as in all tensile members and gasset plates in a single row beam and connections. So we are to assume that uh, the tensile stress will be uniformly uh, distributed uh, for this one. Since we have a single uh, row. So we'll be having uh, the value of uh, the use of BS. Uh, the use of BS is simply equal to 1.0. Point, uh, so let us now uh, compare the uh, values, then let us see which value will uh, govern. We have uh, the R sub N is equal to 0 0.60. What is our FU? That is 448 mega uh, pascals. So well ago. Is 448 MPA. Then okay, the area net for a uh, shear is equal to okay, 2495.55. Uh, 
It says 2,995 uh, 2, uh, square millimeters. Then I plus UBS is 1.0. So FZU is equal to 448. Then multiplied by I the net area for tension. I the net area for tension is 660.4 square millimeters. So this is I six uh, sixty point uh, four, and this value should be less than or equal to zero point sixty of Fy. So what is our Fy a while ago? And it's three hundred forty five for the KS uh, or fifty KSI. So this is three hundred uh, forty five. Then multiplied by the area gross for shear is three thousand two hundred. Okay, 3,225.8 plus IUBS 1.0 multiplied by 448 megapascals then area net for tension 660.4 square mm. So let us now okay, compare these values. So we have the R sub n sub equal to okay, we have uh, 0.6 multiplied by 448 by 200 uh, 2495.55 then okay uh, plus 1 multiplied by uh, 448 then the net area for tension 660.4 so to be, to, be, uh, to be divided by 1000 to be in newtons or uh, kilonewtons so let's equal to 966 Point six six three kilo newtons, but it should be less than or equal to okay, to the next value, that is point six of uh, three hundred forty five. Then to be multiplied by the gross area for shear three thousand two hundred twenty five point eight. Okay, plus a uh, UBS one multiplied by four four eight multiplied by the net area for tension six sixty point four. Again, this is in newtons to be divided by 1,000. So let's say we have that as 963. Point, uh, let's say 0. 0.6, 963.6 kilo newtons. So as you can see, okay, this value is greater than this value. So this, okay, the lower value will govern. So we have the value of R sub n. We are to use. We are to use R sub n so equal to 963.6 kilo newtons as our okay, nominal strength. Then for the uh, design, okay, so this is for okay, uh, the block shear. Okay, for the block shear uh, strength, so for LRFD, okay, what is the value of our reduction factor? That is 0 0.75. So we have okay, the P times Rn is equal to 963.6 multiplied by 0 0.75. So we have that is equal to so 963.6 multiplied by 0.75 is equal to 722.7. 722.7 kilo newtons. I then for uh, the ASD. Okay, so our uh, factor of safety will be equal to 2.0. So we have that as the R sub n okay, divided by the factor of safety. This is equal to 963.6 to be divided by uh, 2. So we have the value of the R sub n so equal to okay, we have 963.6 okay, to be divided by 2 is equal to 481.8 kilonewtons. Uh, that's the Rn over the omega. Uh, um, 481.8. So 481.8 kilonewtons. So these are our uh, design values for the block shear strength. So LRFD and ASD. Okay, so that is for uh, this uh, requirement. Okay, the block shear uh, rupture strength for LRFDN, okay, the ASD. Okay, but uh, what if uh, we are to add our analysis? So we are now uh, including 
uh, let's say we are to include the okay, gross uh, section yielding. So we need to compute for the nominal strength, that is P sub N, is equal to F sub Y multiplied by D area uh, gross. So we are just uh, need to compute for the gross area of this angle. Uh, we may divide uh, the angle into two rectangles. So let's say this will be a rectangle with a height of uh, 102 and a thickness of 12.7. So, we are to subtract that 12.7 plus uh, from that 152. So, 152 minus that thickness, uh, 12.7, is equal to 139.3. So, this is I 100, 139.3. For this, I another uh, rectangle. So, we, we just uh, divide the angle into uh, two rectangles. So, for the uh, gross area, Okay, we have the area gross is equal to uh, 12.7 multiplied by 102, then plus 139.3 multiplied by the thickness of 12.7. So we have the area gross is now equal to, uh, that is uh, 102 plus 139.3 okay, multiplied by uh, the thickness 12.7. 3064.51. So 306. 3064.51 square millimeters. Let us check. Okay, 3064.51. So computing for uh, the nominal strength, okay, we have now the P sub N is equal to Fy. So our Fy is 345 megapascals or the newtons per square millimeters multiplied by the area gross 3064.51 square millimeters. So as you can see, the remaining unit will be in newtons. So multiplied by 1 kN is 2, by 1,000 square, uh, 1,000 newtons. So we have, okay, this it will be the nominal strength equal to, okay, multiplied by 345, then divided by 1,000. This is 1,057.256. Okay, 1,057.256. Point twenty, I'll say twenty six. Yes, all right. Point twenty six may do. So one thousand fifty seven point twenty six kilo and newtons. Then we are to determine the design strength and the allowable strength. So this is for okay, the LRFD. So LRFD, okay, our reduction factor is zero point ninety. So we have IPU okay, is equal to IP okay, multiplied by the P sub N. So our P sub U is equal to 0 0.90 of 1057.26. So we have the design strength is now equal to okay, 1057.26 multiplied by 0 0.9. 951.534. So that is okay, 951.534 kilo newtons. Okay, then okay, if you are to proceed with uh, the ASD, okay, so that is for the LRFD, so this time okay, ASD. So for ASD, we have okay, the factor of safety for yielding is equal to okay, 1.67. So we have that is the PA is equal to okay, the P sub N divided by the factor of safety. We have 1057.26 to be divided by 1.67. So we have okay, the allowable strengths now equal to okay, this is to be divided by 1.67. Okay, that is 633.09. Okay, 633.09. 0 0.09 kilo newton. So these are the values. Okay, if you are to consider a okay, gross section yielding. So what about the TRS or that is the tensile rupture strength? Okay, for our last analysis, let's say that is the okay, the TRS. Okay, this is for the uh, tensile uh, rupture strength. So we have to do is I uh, compute for the equivalent of the P sub N, which is equal to I uh, F U multiplied by the effective area. 
wherein our effective uh, area is equal to or the u then multiplied by the okay, area net okay, for the area net so the area net so let us uh, first uh, select our uh, rupture path so this is okay, let us assume that our uh, rupture path for this one will be uh, just this one Alright, this is our rupture path for the tensile uh, rupture strength. So basically, there is okay, uh, the gross, uh, the area gross, I okay, less one hole. Okay, we are just uh, we just intercept or that rupture path intercept only one uh, hole. So basically, the equivalent of our uh, area net is equal to okay, this is the area gross minus the area of the holes are intercepted by that by that uh, rupture path which is only i1 uh, for this example so our uh, area net uh, if you are to recall our uh, given so the diameter net diameter of the hole is equal to 23 millimeters and the thickness of the plate is i uh, 12.7 mm so we'll be having uh, the uh, area net is equal to so what is our area gross the area gross is equal to 3064.51 minus the area of the hole that is only one for the uh, selected rupture path this is multiplied by 23 by uh, 12.7 millimeters so our uh, net area is now equal to a uh, 3064.51 okay then minus uh, 23 by uh, 23 by 12.7 that is uh, 2772.41 so this is 2772.41 square millimeters Okay, so, 2772.41. So, what about for the uh, U or that is the shear lag uh, factor? So, if you are to uh, check our uh, table, for the shear lag factor class, so this falls to okay, case number case number 2. So, all tension members except HSS where the tension load is transmitted to some. Okay, so, to some but not all of the cross-section elements. So again, if we are to refer to this uh, figure, this is exactly okay, our uh, case. So how do we compute for the shear lag factor? That is 1 minus the bar x over uh, L. So we have, okay, how do we compute for the bar x? Okay, so again, this is the uh, connected angle or the fastened angle. Okay, that is the 100, uh, this is the 152 uh, millimeters. So all we have to do is allocate the centroid of this area okay, from that uh, from this uh, reference line. So this is our reference line. This will be the value of our bar x, and that can be computed using okay, Barignons. So by Barignons, that is our total area, or that is the gross area. This area gross is three thousand sixty four. 0.51 multiplied by bar x. Okay, our area 1 is 193.3 multiplied by the thickness 12.7. Its centroid towards our reference line is obviously 12.7 divided by 2. Okay, then plus, okay, that, uh, that is our uh, for the vertical rectangle. 102 multiplied by 12.7. Okay, its centroid towards the reference is obviously half of 102. So 102 divided by 2. So let us compute for okay, the bar x. Okay, so this is okay, 139.3 okay, multiplied by the thickness 12.7. Its centroid is 12.7 okay, divided by 2 towards the reference. Okay, plus okay, for the vertical rectangle. Okay, for the vertical rectangle, the area is 102 multiplied by 12.7. Its a centroid is obviously a half of its height, 102 over a 2. Okay, and then to be divided by the gross area, so answer divided by 3064.51. Uh, 
that is 25 point uh, 22 so we have 25 point 22 millimeters so computing for the shear lag factor again this is a uh, case number two we have u is equal to 1 minus i the bar x over l so what is our l so for a one line bolt that is okay, the distance between the okay, the two uh, farthest bolts or uh, let's say okay, that is the length of the line of the bolts so for this example what is the length of the line of the bolts that will be our l so this is from okay, the uh, topmost bolt and okay, the lowermost uh, bolt so that is okay this is our l which is twice of 101.6 so l is equal to okay 2 times uh, 101.6 is equal to okay 203.2 mm so 203.2 millimeters so that will be our l high computing for okay, the shear lag factor Okay, so we have that as equal to 1 minus okay, 25.22 okay, divided by uh, 203.2. So our shear lag factor is now equal to okay, this 1 minus uh, 25.22 to be divided by 203.2. That is 0 0.8758 or we can say our shear lag factor will be 0 0.88. Okay, now, so since we have now the shear lag factor equal to 0 0.88, let's have the okay, effective area. So we have okay, the effective area is the shear lag factor, that is 0 0.88, multiplied by the net area, 2772.41. So area effective is now equal to... Uh, this is 0 0.88 okay, multiplied by 2772.41. Uh, that is u439.72. Uh, 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 Let's say 2439.72 uh, square millimeters. So computing for okay, the nominal strength for the tensile rupture strength. Okay, P sub N is our F sub U is 448 megapascals. Multiplied by 2439.72. So again, we divide this uh, value by 1000 uh, newtons. Okay, so that this uh, final value will be in kilo newtons. So we have okay, 2439.72 to be multiplied by okay, the area. Uh, that is the FU 448. Okay, divided by 1000 newtons is uh, let's say this is a uh, 1092.99 kilo newtons and uh, then we proceed to lrfd and uh, the asd uh, so let's say we have lrfd uh, under trs uh, our uh, reduction factor is equal to 0 0.75 so we have that as PU equal to P of the P sub N. So we have 0 0.75 of 1092.99. So the design strength under TRS is equal to, okay, we have 0.75, okay, 0.75 replied by 1092.99. 819 819.74. So 800, 819, yes, 819.74 uh, 70, kilo newtons. So this is for okay, the LR FD. So we proceed to uh, ASD. So this is for the uh, ASD. So our factor of safety when it comes to the tensile rupture strength, that is equal to 2.0. So we have the allowable strength is equal to okay, the nominal divided by the factor of safety. Okay, allowable strength is equal to 1092.99 to be divided by a 2. So we have the allowable strength. Okay, that value divided by 2 is equal to 546.495. Uh, 
So, 546.495 kilonewtons. So, these are the values, okay, uh, based on the tensile, okay, tensile rupture uh, strength. Now, if we are to conclude, okay, what will be our design values or which analysis okay, control, will control the design? Okay, so let's have the least, okay, least values. Okay, so when it comes to LRFD, okay, so which among them is the least force okay, that will uh, govern? So for the block shear, 722.7, for TRS, 800, for GSY, 951. So therefore, okay, so under LRFD, our controlling uh, analysis will be okay, the block shear strength. Okay, the least value, that will be the safest. So that is, okay, 722.7 kilo newtons. So what about for uh, the ASD? So for the ASD, okay, for uh, block shear is for 81.8. For okay, the tensile rupture strength is 546. For GSY, 633. So, again, okay, the controlling uh, value for ASD is still okay, the block shear strength. The least value is the safest. So, that is 481.8. Okay, so, this will be our uh, design values okay, for this example.